as always, Reno 911 continues to be a blast. Um, the the defunded batch of episodes uh, was was quite the ride. Um, last time I spoke with y'all was for QAnon, and I remember Ian specifically mentioning that uh, Cedric had something special in store for all of us, and that one man show was quite 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 the quite out there uh, to say the least. I mean. Can you give me a breakdown of sort of how that came about? Who all was involved in the writing for that one? It started because we knew we needed something for Jones for this season. We needed a big meaty piece. What we were trying to do was get him singing somewhere. Mm -hmm. So we were like, okay, is he on, this is before q &A, So we're like, is he on a boat? Is he on a cruise ship? Is he at a, some sort of, is he at an old age home? Like, where is he singing? And we that's- We kicked around that he had like a Jimmy Buffett tribute a, act at a hotel. Yeah. And then we also popular with the MAGA crowd. That he was a Billy Joel cover band for a while. We just kind of kept trying to get something, and then I was sort of thinking about I wanted him to sing uh, Silk's "Freak You," <laughs> and then we started kind of building up from there. And then sort of we talked to him, and we're like, "If you were, if Jones was going to tell the narrative of the the black narrative in America, what would he tell?" Yeah. And of course, that includes really some amazing things that I won't spoil, but I'm, you've probably seen one of them for no reason in Sweeney Todd. That's um, brilliant. It's just so a, brilliant. Yeah. And we got to sit there and be the audience for it. The only yeah. problem was we had to pretend like we were bored and tired and it was the most acting I've ever had to do on the show. It's pure delight. I'll say this, we, we actually scheduled Jones Teeth as the very last day of production. And yes. I think because we all knew he had told us what outfits he wanted. <laughs> so we all had a sense of how really, really fun it was going to be to get to see it. It was so, so good. Just, yeah. Not just last day, but last scene. Like last, 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 very last, last, the very yes. last setup. Yeah. That was a little, he was um, like the ice cream truck that we were all looking forward to. I, well, I, I know you were thinking, when is Reno 911 going to gonna spoof August Wilson? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we did it. We I finally, was, those bastards, they did it. <laughs> I was not expecting for a raisin to be as sexy as it was either. either. Yes, yes. So sexy, such a sexy you're gonna raisin. Learn a lot. Let's just say you're gonna learn a lot. <laughs> if he, um, I, I, yeah, it's Emmy, it's Emmy. Cedric has a really amazing Emmy bait episode uh, yeah. in, the, in the Roku episodes. I would certainly love for him to get some kind of attention, even I just an honorable mention. That won't would be something will happen. Amazing. It's about damn time, as Grandma used to say. So, uh, as you mentioned, I mean, this batch of episodes was uh, conduct, you know, filmed and everything before QAnon, and so uh, as the subtitle of this season suggests, there it does deal with the the the, the theme of being defunded. So, I mean, how did that? Obviously, there was current events happening at that time, but how did it come to your guys' mind in the writer's room to really incorporate that into this, this season? We were creating this show right when every single real cop show was being canceled. Uh, and we knew we couldn't avoid all of these topics that everybody was talking about. We just knew we had to do it the Reno way. You know, and I think that you know, we never, ever try to offend and we never, ever try to piss people off. We sometimes do, but I think that's their fault, not ours. Like, uh, we are not trying to prove any points. We're just, you know, our show has always been about totally incompetent people who hate their jobs and who would rather be doing whippets and licking cocaine off of each other's faces. Mm -hmm. uh, and we just set it into what was on, what was actually happening in the real world that summer. Mm -hmm. And... You know, we're it worked out. We're we're quite proud of it. I think we really stick the landing. Uh, I very much agree. I think it's uh, I think it's a, a a deft balance you have there, and it and it really works. Um, so yeah. then, uh, with that, uh, I mean, as you you did sort of mention that you know you never want to offend anything, but I mean this show it's been on for almost twenty years now, which is crazy to imagine. And I mean, what is it you feel about? What is it you all feel about Reno 911 that just continues to really resonate with viewers and continues to have you guys come back for more? I think it's a little bit handy that in some ways our we're almost our characters operate as if it's almost an animated show. 
where it sort of, you know, in a, there, a, a wonderful thing about watching Bob's Burgers or Simpsons is it almost always resets. <laughs> no matter what's happened to them, you sort of get a reset, which is fun. And then you get, to, you know, but you know, like, you know, Trudy's crazy. And you know, uh, Ben's character is basically blind. And you know, <laughs> like, there's so many weird things that, you know, so like, there is a joy. We've, we get to do like re smaller and smaller reactions as our characters become like, you know, the other thing about it is like, I think everyone's better at the show these days because we've seen ourselves doing the show for eight seasons and two movies. So like, yeah, you get not, yeah. If, you're, there, if we weren't better at it, what's wrong with us? Yeah. There's like a comfort food aspect to watching and playing these characters. Like mm -hmm. Tom said, there's a reset like in the cartoon world. So it's like people have even died and come back to life on our show. And it's like, mm -hmm. well, you know, uh, it's we're in the same costume. There's something yeah. comforting about that. There's a like, you know, you know, the characters haven't grown at all. They haven't evolved. No. You know, there there is that that aspect to you know that Lucy's going to pull the football away, and it's mm -hmm. satisfying, and you're watching for that. There there is a, a sort of family aspect to that. You could you could tune in, you know, eight seasons ago, the first movie to this movie to the to this season, and it's really like, oh, it's those guys. I know those guys. I think that the fact that we're cops is almost irrelevant in a totally. lot of the show. I think we could have been Agreed. anything. And, and I think cops, police work is often like the setup or the gag, but I don't think people watch Reno for the gags. I think people watch Reno because they love the characters. And I think these characters are really good. And I, and I think it's the, the, the individual characters and the cast are amazing. And the combination of chemistry it's like, there's nothing like it. Like, it's just great. And I think it's, I don't think people watch it because of all the police stuff. I think people watch it because of our they cast and the, the characters. The, the in-between moments are the, which is in many ways what the show always was meant to be. And we certainly didn't feel this season like, oh, there's all this stuff going on in the world. Now's our chance to, it was just sort of like, we're still doing the same stuff, still offending equal opportunity. We're still the same people with the same message, which is just like, you know, really not a real big one <laughs> it's not if real you have a message i do not know what it is you don't have to do <laughs> other than other than whippets are kind of fun yeah you know which we stand probably, by that we stand we, by I that know, it's, it's like a terrible <laughs> statement they're a, they're a, they're a, a crazy ride that's that is that how you're getting through this snowstorm in wisconsin <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you all so much for taking the time to chat with me. I, again, I, again, I really appreciate it. Uh, I, I had a blast with these episodes. And I really do hope you guys get to come back for more, whether it be with Paramount or Roku or whoever, because uh, this show just, it continues to be a joy to watch. The next season is going to be on Arco, which means while you're filling up your gas can, it's going to be on the, the gas. The, yeah. Good. Thanks for having us. Okay. <laughs> also, would you, if you get a chance to put in not, not everyone knows you don't need a Roku box to watch Roku. Yes. Roku or, is free, you can just watch it. Yeah. You yeah. watch it for free either yeah. online or uh, if, if you but have a smartphone. You do not have to like go get a thing. 